If you are new to our channel, welcome aboard to our 1971 Bucky 37. My name is Ivan, this is my wife Victoria, and these are our kids. Hi guys, uh, I wasn't here for a while, so let's continue to do this stuff in the uh, head. Today I have a plan to build uh, some sort of a cable channel from uh, right to left. And uh, now I just uh, cut a couple of holes for this uh, kind of uh, supporting thing. And I'm planning to make some kind of piece of wood attached to the hull and then I can screw those uh, terminals or holding thing uh, to, to the cable and from uh, this side I haven't really decided how to make it happen here so should I drill another hole or just uh, use the existing ones but anyway there's a kind of sharp angle here I, I don't really like this idea at all I cut extra two holes one is here and one is there well, the extra I have to fill uh, with something again again. I, I don't really like, like those <laughs> extra holes here. So anyway, uh, probably I will fill it with something. And from this side, actually, there is a <laughs> really strange bulkhead, actually. <laughs> it's empty here. So from here is a kind of piece of wood, and inside is nothing, just air. Anyway, I have to seal this uh, gap with the resin mixed with the cabo seal. To make it one solid structure and just hole only in the plastic. Uh, uh. Well, and the uh, also from the other side, I just need to clean a little bit, um, sand it down, and uh, fill the, with the resin. I don't know. Maybe I use a plank. I sand it down the wall. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, tough. It was really hard to do. So you know, <laughs> sanding is not fun. Well, anyway, it's ready for painting and just need to clean with the acetone. I will have such a cable uh, tray. <laughs> I glued a piece of wood with a cable seal mixed with the resin and also put uh, some tubbing from CSM on top of that. Well, let it be, <laughs> what to say. Uh, this hole also I filled with the resin mixed with the cable seal and uh, patched this hole as well. The resin has cured right now and I washed uh, all the surfaces with uh, alcohol right now and uh, just uh, send it down uh, and uh, vacuum the every surface right now and probably <laughs> need to do a little more and these all uh, surfaces are prepared for painting with the gel coat I also drilled three holes for the throne and yeah uh, I think um, there will be uh, one uh, more development here so I will need to build to build a counter countertop with the sink and the wall and the door so I haven't figured out where exactly it's gonna be and how I'm gonna mount it and attach to the hull and to the sides so probably it's gonna be here or here I don't know and uh, I have no idea where to put it on actually so we'll see probably cover with the gel coat right side only and the wall and leave uh, the space under the countertop it's uh, easy to m make than to say actually so <laughs> everything is white now uh, covered with the uh, gel coat one layer so yeah it looks good well uh, the toilet is installed on its place uh, the hoses are connected the cables are run through the uh, its place and uh, I, I haven't uh, uh, fixed it yet but uh, as uh, most probably more cables will go and also I installed that uh, terminal block uh, for the lights for the heading lights and the anchor lights and uh, also the wind sensor for Raymarine and uh, I also cut the extra holes for the uh, hoses uh, so I drilled the hole for uh, outbound uh, thing uh, from the toilet and also inbound the holes for the toilet right there and also put some uh, resin with cabo seal on the edges so now I'm walking up with the uh, countertop I use the old uh, countertop as a template 
I'm not sure if we're gonna use it or not. It's uh, totally <laughs> busted. But anyway, I installed the uh, uh, supporting leg from uh, right side, and I will uh, install something from the left side. So idea is that I need to find hor hor horizon and to figure it out with that vertical uh, wall. I need to know what's the shape, height, and uh, whatever all the other dimensions. Also, how far I will go from the uh, uh, toilet actually also I need to build a, a door and maybe some kind of sort of shelf so now I'm thinking about to where exactly to put this uh, vertical wall so it looks like it has equal uh, distance uh, from each side to make sure the big uh, good uh, person can uh, use uh, this utility at some point without any problems so now I'm uh, going to uh, draw the uh, curve of the bottom line to make uh, a real uh, piece from uh, uh, thicker uh, plywood. I cut uh, the vertical uh, wall and um, yeah, looks like I have to move it to the right slightly. Uh, the spacers are not really equal now. But I have this uh, gap here between the pipe and the uh, wall so I can easily move it to the right without any trouble also I prefer to make this all removable uh, on the screws bolts nuts whatever just to have some access to the back in uh, space over there so idea is clear the question how to implement this whole stuff um, yeah still thinking about it after some time of thinking I decided to glue these uh, two pieces of wood to the hull and then drill the holes uh, through these planks to attach uh, this vertical wall so at least it will be removable from the uh, bottom side and from the uh, top side um, probably I do a similar idea but uh, I haven't decided how exactly it's gonna be I attach two pieces of wood using resin and a uh, mix of thickened resin and also put uh, two tubbins so I will use the screws to attach uh, to the wall also soaked with the resin this uh, vertical wall well uh, I think that all wires and cables are in place right now I even uh, run a couple of extras just for lights and some other stuff now it's uh, time for the installing the last piece of hoses so what I want to say that uh, normally uh, let's say underwater hoses must be connected with the marine grade uh, clamps so what's the difference is uh, that non-marine has a uh, true holes that are threaded to the bolt and the marine grade has nothing like true it's just solid metal all the way through this uh, clamp so that means it's more robust more strong and reliable ideally needs to be installed two marine grade uh, clamps uh, for one uh, joint just to be in, in a safe zone but uh, let's say if it's not really underwater side and kind of like a serviceable it can be used whatever is <laughs> available but anyway uh, if I have chance to replace with the marine grade I will do so Normally the plastic holes uh, never <laughs> wants to get, get in the, to the <laughs> pipe so we will use a heavy duty stuff which is a, a heat uh, gun actually so it uh, gets uh, really easy I heated one and uh, there is a soft side the other is just <laughs> still uh, solid so it's uh, super easy to install so it's really easy to make connection using a heat gun you can bend it, you can extend it, stretch it and connect everything so what is already connected? Uh, this uh, transparent pipe is uh, degassing and it's uh, actually T connected with the sump uh, pump from uh, shower that, well I, I haven't decided finally what to do with this but uh, I don't know, it's still the same loop so I believe it should be okay the thick uh, pipe is uh, for pump out and also what else uh, I I bend this uh, little hose for exit uh, I cut it and uh, <laughs> installed it several times to to make a minimum slope 
and no low low spot on the on this uh, kind of um, joint and bend. So I hope the uh, it's uh, sloped down. The water line is around uh, right there, and I believe the water will stay up to here or maybe even lower. I can't remember exactly where is the level of the uh, water line, but it's definitely around uh, this point. Uh, the only uh, hoses left over is connecting the bowl and water input. The water exit is assembled, it goes uh, from toilet up to the loop and back to the tank. It's still soft, I heat it up a lot, so I assembled the uh, inlet fittings to the valve, so left side will go to the uh, toilet and up to the uh, sink. I'm cooking the hose and uh, boil the water. If one side is soft, I'll turn around. Well, uh, inbound uh, water is uh, installed, the hose is in place to the toilet, and top one is uh, I hooked up top and clamp it. Uh, well, it's uh, no, no sink yet, but the uh, holes exist. I don't want to sink the board actually. So, um, Moving forward, I have opened the, the valves. So from what I see, that this uh, holds a transparent. The the water goes up to this level. So I can easily say the the water line is right over there. Well, um, yeah, I still have some concern about this hose. Probably I should uh, lift it up and make a loop or something like that. But uh, the only worst thing can happen is just uh, <laughs> sunken their uh, boat. But uh, well, in case of uh, holes get damaged or start uh, dripping up, most probably I will make uh, this hose a uh, little longer and make some kind of uh, loop uh, which is a little higher than the water line, and uh, that should work uh, easily. Well. Uh, I don't know what to say, it's uh, just an idea, but uh, we'll probably do it at some point. I attached this vertical wall with the three screws, well, three on the bottom, and add one more plank uh, for that place. I, I don't know, some kind of temporary probably, but who knows what is temporary, right? So the uh, toilet, uh, let's uh, do the real test. Yeah, it's uh, really comfortable. Actually, I can... Uh, Kind of comfortable sitting in there and uh, even uh, <laughs> push something on with my head and <laughs> wedge uh, myself in uh, bad weather. So now is uh, time to make a push button for the flashing. So I got this such a thing uh, push button and uh, I just need to put in some place the question where exactly I'm gonna put it on so to be accessible from. Uh, any point of view. Well, uh, the button is in place. Just need to run the cables. The moment of truth, head is on. And let's uh, <laughs> try it. The valves are open. <coughs> is filling up and must be go away well uh, I will close the valve and do the same well looks like uh, nothing is leaking from either side even from here Let's continue. Filling up to the top. How's the motor doing? Not too hot? It looks okay. Yeah, well, it's kind of sprinkling here from this place, from there. I don't know. <laughs> um, can be from anywhere. 
let's try it again ah uh, here you are it's from the uh, uh, check valve well that's okay it's uh, totally fine the idea of this valve is that uh, water gets uh, up to the top point and then gravity will do the rest and uh, there's the air pocket in there let's continue to pump it up Well, it's full now. Let's check it out. How's it going? Oh, this is a water leakage. Well, <laughs> okay, probably some of the <laughs> clamps are not really clamped properly, but uh, that's okay. Well, uh, let's uh, <laughs> deal with this later on. At least uh, I know that uh, there is some issue here, but uh, it should be fine. So, let's... Uh, drain uh, the water and see how's it going well at least uh, this uh, I'm, I'm most worried about that lower spot and the joint I made actually with the plastic which is totally fine it's flashing really fast this is it the tank is empty so uh, what the heck is leaking here well uh, I think this is the only vent uh, hose which is uh, kind of loose and I noticed that there was kind of loose uh, when I installed it but uh, well uh, it's fine I will uh, figure it out at some point it looks like uh, that uh, everything is fine and uh, there is not vent, uh, vent hose, this is uh, this thick one. So actually I did uh, reuse uh, this uh, high hose from the old installation. It's it's really dried out and uh, probably some garbage on, uh, on the joint or something else. Anyway, I'm going to replace with a new one at some point. This hose actually ended up with a little uh, extension which is going on the bottom of the tank. So when the pressure is happening, this uh, kind of somewhat pressure goes through this hose up to the uh, pump out uh, fitting. So probably that's why we get uh, some kind of pressure. The countertop template is uh, getting into some uh, shape right now. And um, I'm uh, going to install some sort of sink, which was before here and uh, it'll be totally fine but uh, not that high obviously going lower uh, the only thing i need to figure out what uh, position of that sink is supposed to be on the table the question uh, that need to figure it out is uh, how to install uh, two taps it's going to be at least two for uh, fresh water and salt water also, how big is the uh, countertop needs to be? Probably I will extend it a little bit uh, forward. Well, why not to? The other thing, how, what angle to use uh, uh, compared to the bulkhead? Probably 90 degrees to the bulkhead will be more better. The idea is uh, I will uh, probably make some doors uh, to this uh, opening and I want to make sure the doors will be open easily and not obstructing by the taps and um, yeah this is kind of <laughs> challenge so let's say i put uh, this tap over here and uh, this uh, long uh, stick in the corner then uh, the door right door may probably not open uh, properly if you put it in the middle uh, who knows <laughs> it might be not easy to open at all and if I put it over here, then the right door wouldn't be opened again and then they will touch this uh, tap. 
Well, I leave, I will leave this uh, thought uh, to sleep over, <laughs> and in the morning probably I will figure it out. If you like this video, please uh, hit thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and leave comment down below.